Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Athen Lido after uh, that, again, disappointment in the semi-finals versus Juventus. Um, yeah, and unfortunate, but still, two semi-finals in a row. I'm pretty happy that we're at this point only 16 seasons in. Like, last year, it was probably 20, 25 seasons in before we even talked about semis. So, let's just go through our league form and go through everything else compared with Lido apart from those sort of that semi final which is annoying but still giving it up to Juventus they smashed us and they are an amazing team bloody Charles Francois god damn it um but yeah so uh after that seven those two seven nil wins we had a three nil win over both against Luando and then over half of West a two nil win over TNS um Sean Kelly with another rare goal. Uh, Olympiacos was a 2-2 draw in the first leg, I think, as I went over. Bamba with those two goals. 5-0 win in the World Cup quarterfinal. Vieira with three and Bamba with two. 3-0 um, over Abba. 3-0 uh, again over Luando, uh, which was pretty good. And they had a man sent off early on. Torton with a uh, goal there. 4-1 over Tom Pentra. Slavica with two. Rangelov with two. Then we won that four, the Olympiacos game 4-1. Vieira with two, Ibarra with one, and Bam with one. Have West, low-scoring game again, 1-0. Uh, and then followed that with a 2-0 win over TNS. Barry Gammon coming back to help us out with an own goal in the first minute. Uh, and then Bam got the second there. Welsh Cup semi-finals against West End. Franco Koric, Jean-Louis Boyer, Diara and Yunus Barr all got goals. Then we had that first Champions League quarter-final leg versus Zenit, which we won 2-0. Dom Chanic and Bam with goals. And then between the legs, we had Tom Pentra, 2-0 win. Veselinovic and Ibarra with another goal. Uh, then we had that 2-1 win. Bam with both those goals to make take us into the semis. Then we faced Juve first. So we had that Dom Chanic, Vieira, and then Seri Thomas sent off. But there they got those three goals there. Then we had the Welsh Cup final. This was all between losing the first leg and the second leg. But we won the Welsh Cup final 8-0. And this was our complete, complete second team because I wanted to focus on the semis completely. Like, look at this. We did have uh, Vincent Dengar. We had Carl Lake in, Kovac was still in, Aki was in, Kristic, Koric, and Jordan Morgan, centre mid. Slavic was in, Ross was attacking mid, Rangelov and Vincent Diara up front. Uh, Diara actually got a hat trick. Jordan Morgan got a goal, which was very good. Young player uh, coming through the youth. Ibrahim Aki, Rangelov, an own goal, and Slavic with a late goal there. But. It was pretty incredible playing the complete second strings and winning 8-0. Well, not complete second strings, but most of the second strings and winning 8-0. Then we had that 5-2 loss, which is really annoying. Um, Vieira and Dom Chanich with goals. And then final game of the season was against ABBA. And that was a 3-1 win. Vieira with two and Slavica with another goal. So, a good season again. We made we kind of made progress. We scored four goals against Juve, um, who actually went on to win. So we did better than last year. Real Madrid uh, actually losing the final this year. Losing 3-0 to Juventus. So we've lost the champions. That's a lot better. Charles Francois getting two in the final. And then Alexander getting one there. Um, Real Madrid gets a player sent off. But that was later on. Uh, and completely dominated them. So not too bad for us to lose to, this, uh, to the winners of the Champions League. Uh, if we look at the Premier League. Um, we can see. Who got what? Obviously, we finished top 32 wins at 32. 118 goals. Not as good as last year's uh, 152, but better than the year before's that. Only conceded five goals all year. Now, I'm fucking impressed with that. Like, over 32 games, only conceding five, which is pretty fantastic. Um, and never conceded two goals against a team. So that's pretty good. A goal difference, 113. 96 points. TNS finishing second, so they get that uh, Euro Cup place. Lundo. They are going to be the first team, other than us, going to be in the, in the European group stages. They're going to go into the Euro group stages. It's going to be incredible. ABBA finished fourth, and Tom Pench and Havoc West going down was Ridmoin with 24 points. They actually made up a lot of ground on everyone else, uh, but couldn't get avoid the drop. Karma then also go down as, with them. Barry survived with Banger, Conway, and Real. Uh, if we look at the stats for the season, um, we had three players in the top five goal scorers. Of, but uh, Toshak's for real, the top goal scorer. Average rating, we actually didn't have anyone because we've sort of completely focused, I guess, on the um, Champions League. Uh, we did have people up there for assists as well. If we look at the awards, I guess, which would probably be better um, sort of value of it. Manager of the Year, guess who won it? Me, again. 
Um, lower, I don't know what the points actually mean. I guess it's sort of calculated by who votes you where, but it doesn't sort of show you who votes for who, which I'd quite like to see, actually. It's like what managers vote for you and who like who they vote for and all that. Play of the year actually went to Juan Carlos Ibarra. 18 appearances, 4 goals, 9 assists. Very good stuff by him. Um, so that's quite good from him. Team of the season. Um, Ibarra's actually in it. It's a miracle, boys. It's a miracle. Um, Barakas was in it. So only two um, Afanlido players. But if you look in there, there's a lot of former t uh, uh, players in there. We've got Josh Sampson, who is our former youth keeper, who's now on an Amacutra contract with TNS, and he's now their starting goalkeeper. He's in there. Uh, we got Mark Howes, right mid. Uh, he plays with Conway. He was lit. He's actually gone on loan to them this year. So very good to see him going on loan, getting team of the year. Jordan Lewis for Abba, um on loan from us again. 17. Very, very good to be getting team of the year. Then you've got Barry Gammond, who we just let go. Did well. Got in team of the year. Terry Rees from Haverford West, who we let go quite a while ago now, actually, to TNS. He's moved to Haverford West and... Got in team of the year, and then Carl Taylor for TNS, uh, 27 now. Um, we actually was bought for money. Look at that, bought for 14.25k by TNS this year, and he's done really well for them. So, starting to see a lot of my former players coming back up and doing well in the league, which is quite nice to see. Um, if we look at our own squad, we can sort of judge it. Obviously, Bamba, 40 goals in 24 games, pretty ridiculous with eight assists. Vieira, 28 goals, 11 assists in 29 games. Slavica, 27 goals and 14 assists in 21 games. Uh, Leo Fuentes, he actually did get injured, but he did well. 17 goals in 34 games for Mines. Didn't bring that 20 mark for the third year running, but still, 17 goals in the Bundesliga. That's that's pretty fantastic for him. Um, if you look at Mines, actually, where did they actually finish? I think, I remember for Köln, they got relegated when he played for the Mines. They finished bottom half. Last year... Verderon didn't do that well, so he's gone to not the best German teams and still got nearly 20 goals a year, which is very nice. Tolic did well, 11 goals, 8 assists in 10 games. Uh, DR did well off the bench, 9 goals there. Assist-wise, Ibarra got 15 along with uh, Dom Chanich, which is good. Slavik got 14, Vieira 11. Mark Howes obviously out on loan, getting that team of the year spot. Uh, Santa Maria got 10. Pavel Comment uh, doing very well there, 9 assists from right back. So that's good in that sense. Um, if we look at our under-19s, we had our youth intake again. And did we get anyone? We did not. We got Ian Robertson, who is a goalkeeper. Uh, he doesn't look that bad. He, he could he could make it up. Like, Scantabry sort of didn't ever look like he was going to. Then suddenly he developed a bit more. But he did well. Uh, Nathan Thornton's going to make the move up into this first team squad or the reserves soon because he's too good for the under 19s. He's actually changed to English, which is a bit odd. Um, he's actually got call ups for the under 21s for England, even though he's got Welsh nationality as well. So England might s snatch him up. Um, I don't know why Wales haven't, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I think generally that is it. We've got more training and youth coming through again. Um, financially wise we've got 24 million in the bank we're just plodding along hopefully we can make some progress next year or see what happens there are going to be some big transfers I think next year um, I think there's you can see like previews of a little bit if you're eagle eyed um, but we're going to be going over that next year uh, but there will be a lot of transfers going on um, so yeah I'll see you guys then for our season 17 review I hope you guys enjoyed this it's been Alex and I'll see you guys later